Hey yo, what up people? This is your boy Jay Sanjay Kicks. Today's video starting a little differently because I'm a little hungry. It's super early in the morning, I know. But today I feel like that. I feel like that. So um, what we're gonna do today is simple. We're going to Nike to pick up these new Jordan 1 Lowe's Howard University. This is such a beautiful shoe, like for real. The colorway is so nice. The materials used in the issue for what I could see premium materials we're about to find out if the materials are that good in person because i'm gonna let you know how my shoe is looking so you're coming with me to pick these shoes up guys and yeah let's just get out of here but i'm gonna finish this first okay guys so now i'm on my way to the nike store to pick up these new jordan one lows um howard university what a beautiful shoe right there man the colorway like i told you super nice super super nice the color combination between red and navy i think is beautiful really beautiful this shoe is part of the howard university and jordan brand um, partnership i think they really killed it oh man oh man i, I can't wait i need to hurry up to go and pick up these shoes because i want to see them in hand first and then i'm gonna show you the shoes so let me just get straight to nike i'm already in the area so Let's go! And I'm already here at Nike. So let me just get inside and pick up the shoes. So I'm already out of Nike. Now it's just time to find a nice place to give you this review. I'm probably just gonna go home. I don't know, we'll see. And you're about to see that right now because I'm gone. Okay guys, so now I'm already back at the crib and here I have the shoe. Take a look at the box, man. The box looks super nice. It's a color combination between this um, white color and the navy Nike branding on the shoe. I think it looks beautiful. This box reminds me a lot to the box that we have on the Travis Scott shoes. Let me show you that right quick. Take a look at these and take a look at these. This one have like a cell tone here and this one is, you know, more like a white color. Neither of these are straight white, but you can see the color difference. Of course, these one have brown branding and this one have the navy branding, but I think it looks nice, looks nice, and they're kind of similar when it comes to the boxes. Yes, I know people were more hype about the issue than on this one, but mm, if you ask me, you probably won't agree with my answer, but uh, we probably get into that in a little moment, guys. Now, let's go with the shoes, guys, because just opening this beauty right here, we're going to have, uh, hold on, this is the receipt. You don't need to see that. All right, now, Look at the shoes, man. Jordan One Lowe's Howard University. These are clean. Yes, these are clean. I like these shoe a lot. Inside of the box, we don't have nothing. Not even the, um, the green stamp here. No, not, we don't have it. But right here on the top of the box, we have the code right here in red. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's put the box right here. And now let's focus on the shoes, man. These are so freaking nice. I was lacing these shoes out while I was coming back in the train. <laughs> That's crazy, but I wanted to see this shoe in hand so much that I couldn't wait till I got home. So. Take a look at the shoes, man. Something that caught my attention is the fact that they use these wax semi um, sail laces on the shoe. That that right there just lets you know that this is not a typical regular Jordan 1 low. Nike is trying to give us something special. That's why you see the um, wax laces on these shoes, something that we mostly see these laces only on collaboration shoes like Travis Scott, but on the Howard University, we have it. We have it. At least the, the, the main laces, this one right here, because the extra laces, which are these um, navy laces, I think these are regular, regular laces. Nothing wrong with that. I like these laces too, but yeah, these are regular laces that we have here on the navy color. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna give you a lace swap video on the issue. I'm gonna use probably the red as well because you know the blue is gonna look good but the red I think are gonna look good as well so 
we're gonna see we're gonna see tomorrow now on this shoe we have pretty much the black toe color blocking on the shoe we have red right there on the back of the shoe and since this is the black toe color blocking but not the black toe colorway instead of black we have navy on the shoe we have it right here on the swoosh also right here on the eyelets going all the way to the toe and the quality of that navy leather is so damn good. This is probably the best quality Jordan 1 low of the year. Even on the red here, we have that nice tumble leather looking shoe. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, the white here on the toe and on the side panel, this leather is good. It's just not as good as the one we have here on the navy areas and on the red areas of the shoe, but still really good material use on the shoe. Pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice. Um, the tongue of the shoe is not white. It's like a peach or a khaki color. It's the same color that we have on the Lost and Found Gen 1 Chicago's. I think it's a pretty nice tongue. I like that color for the tongue. Every time I see a pair of shoes with this tongue, I, I like it. I don't know, for some reason, I like this color tongue a lot. Also, we have the tone tag in white with the Nike branding in red. On the back of the shoe, we have the Wings logo stitching this time. We don't have it like in most of the Jordan ones that is like printed. This time is like that, you know, giving the shoe a little bit of a premium feeling. This is another detail that we mostly see on collaboration shoes and we have on this one. That's why I'm telling you, this is not a typical regular Jordan one low. Also another extra detail that we see very, very rarely on Jordan one lows is the mini swoosh right here. This is not, you know, this is not something that I say I got this shoe because I love these. Yes, it's cool to have extra details like this mini swoosh right here, but this was not a reason for me to buy this shoe. The reason why I like these shoes so much is because I think the colorway is super nice. The quality is simply amazing. The, the leather really feels premium. Like, man, man, what a great quality shoe we have here. For the midsole of the shoe, we have a sail midsole, which goes super good with your shoe because we have that color on the tongue and the, the main laces on the shoe also comes in that same color. So the midsole in this color, I think is very justified on the shoe. I know some people don't like the aging midsole, the pre-aged midsole, but for me, I think it looks cool. When Jordan Brand know how to do it, I think it looks good. The outsole of the shoe is in that dark navy color, something good because when you wear the shoes, it's gonna be super easy to clean these shoes and make them look brand new again. Pretty nice, pretty nice. The outsole goes straight to the point. Nice color for the outsole in that navy color. When we go to the inside of the shoe, we have a navy sock liner, navy insole with red Nike branding on the shoe. This one, like I told you, and you can see, and probably is the shoe you're thinking about every time you see the shoe, it's very similar to the Black Toe Jordan 1. The shoe that I released, I think it was last year. I think this was my last year Jordan 1 of the year. And this one is making a really strong case for Jordan 1 low of the year. Like having me debating between this and the Mochas, which I'm gonna show you side by side with this one in a moment, it's pretty crazy, but like I was telling you, this shoe right here is so similar to this one. Look at that, look at that. This is the black toe and this is the Howard University. Same color blocking, well, not, not exactly the same because this one have a black tongue and this one have a peach looking tongue, but outside of it is technically the same color blocking. The colorway is different because on this one, we have a color combination. On the black toe I'm talking about, we have a color combination of red, black, and white. And on this one, we have a color combination of red, navy, white, sail, pitch, like, yeah, they, they are similar. They look similar, but they're not exactly the same. I think it was yesterday that someone told me, save your money if you have the black toe because you don't need the, um, the Howard University. But man, if I like a shoe and I can get the shoe, I'm gonna get the shoe. It's just that simple for me. I'm not gonna sleep on the shoe because as similar as these two shoes look like, they are not the same. They are not gonna go with the same outfit. Yes, this one is a lot more wearable and actually it's a better shoe than this one in my opinion, but this one is super damn dope as well. This shoe deserves to be in my collection. And this shoe is gonna stay in my collection. I'm gonna try to get another pair of these. It's crazy that this shoe is sitting. This shoe was sitting as well, but 
people are sleeping on Jordan 1 lows and Jordan 1 lows are so freaking freaking good. Another difference between these two now that we hear is the fact that both of these shoes have great quality leather but in different areas like the leather on the white areas of the black toe is way better than the leather on the white areas of the Howard University but when it comes to the leather that we have here on the blue areas of the Howard University is way better than the quality leather that we have on the black toe. So for me, there's room for both shoes in my collection. So both of these are gonna stay right here with me guys. But for real, this shoe is so good that these shoes really have me debating now which one will be my Junior One Low of the Year? Because I think this one is a super solid contender. Material super nice, the colorway super nice. And now I'm debating between the Mocha Lows and the Howard University Lows. I love both of these shoes so much. This one is one of my favorite Junior One Lows of all time. I love this shoe, how wearable the shoe is. Super nice, super, super dope. But this one is so dope as well and a little bit more unique than this one because we have seen this colorway and color blocking before but this one i think it's the first time i see these colorway on a pair of jordan ones i would love to see this one also on a pair of jordan one highs but let's see what nike and jordan brown are going to do with these um university collaborations will they release more university shoes like this one We'll see, because they have a lot of partnership with different universities, but we'll see, we'll see. Now for you, which of these two is your favorite, guys? Both of these are amazing. You can't go wrong with any of these shoes, but let me know for you which between these two will be the Jordan 1 low of the year, or you probably have another favorite. Probably this one right here is your favorite. Who knows, man? It's crazy. A lot of people took W on the issue, including me. But um, yeah, you know that. Hold on. I don't want to make a lot of noise here. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let me show you this. The Travis Scott Olive. Let me know between these two. Which one you like more? I love this shoe. Like the colorway is super nice, but I like this one a little more, man. I, I don't know something about this shoe. I don't know, man. Now I don't know. I don't know which one I like more. This is gonna be a hell of a battle to decide which one will be the best Jordan 1 low of the year, for real. It's really crazy. There's been a lot of good Jordan 1 lows this year. But the Howard University is just right up there. The shoe looks beautiful on feet. This shoe is nice. This shoe also have that Olympic vibe. And you know I'm Dominican, man. And this shoe have similar colorways to the Dominican flag. So I'm gonna rug these shoes to the next year, Dominican parade so you know your boy is gonna be right there rocking these shoes because these are that dope yeah I know Howard University is what these shoes are made of but I pay for the shoes and if I want to rug these shoe with some Dominican gears who's gonna stop me like uh, man if you want to know how these shoe fit me is the same regular size of any of my junior ones so I recommend you to go through the size you should be good to go that way but you can go to your local store try a pair of these or any other junior ones that you find right there they all gonna fit you the same even the highs the mid and the lows they all fit me the same so that's probably the same case just go to your local store and try a pair of these they look fantastic on feet. What can I say? I love the shoe. Now it's time for you to share your opinion with me about the Howard University Jordan 1 Lowe's premium quality leather on this one. Amazing looking shoe. Did she cop? Did she pass? Let me know all that in the comment section, guys. Thank you a lot for watching this video. Um, leave a like for your boy if you appreciate the content because the haters are not going to do it. So if you appreciate your boy, leave a like. That's totally free and you're going to help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more of my content, but outside of you, YouTube, make sure to follow me right here on my Instagram, Jason J Kicks. I'm always uploading videos, picture, sneaker information like shock drop, early access, all the upcoming releases. You're going to know about that first, right here on my Instagram, Jason J Kicks. Thank you again for watching, guys. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you the latest web video on the issue, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to be subscribed if you don't want to miss that content. Thank you for watching again, and until the next one, beautiful shoe. Really nice. Did she cop? Did she pass? Let me know. <laughs> Goodbye.